Hey guys, welcome into the BSN Rockies weekly breakdown presented by Frosted Leaf. Frosted Leaf, Denver's most innovative dispensary, has the hottest strains, no lines, no weight, and a self-paced direct shopping experience that allows a fast yet comfortable transaction without the awkwardness of a waiting room. I'm Allie Monroy and alongside me is BSN Rockies beat writer Drew Creaseman. Let's just jump right in. I mean, we've seen some exciting clutch moments from David Dahl and Ryan McMahon lately. Drew, can Rockies fans expect that to continue? And will these younger guys get more playing time down the stretch? Well, it's hard to expect walk-off home runs and big ninth inning hits from anybody, but they can absolutely expect these young guys to be key down the stretch. They've got a ton of talent. They're clearly not afraid of the big moments. You saw Ryan McMahon in that Dodger series, a couple of huge home runs. David Dahl with some clutch hits now. And the fact that they've been able to do it while giving days off for Charlie Blackman or Nolan Arenado is no small thing either. I don't think they're going to become everyday starters. I think they're still going to be using those roles to get guys some rest. But either way, they're going to be huge down the stretch. The Rockies have played over 40 straight games against teams with winning records and have the third toughest schedule the rest of the way. Is this a blessing or a curse? Well, I guess we'll find out by the end of this season. It, it really could go either way. And I think ultimately because this team is so good and they have risen to the occasion so far, I think it's going to end up being a blessing. There's no better way to go into the postseason than with a ton of experience beating really good teams because that's all they have in the postseason are really good teams. So the Rockies are proving to themselves that they can beat anybody. They're proving to themselves that they can play in these tight close games. They can beat the aces of the world. They got Justin Verlander recently. So I think ultimately it is going to end up being a blessing for this team. But if we look back at a season where they just missed the postseason, you'll probably be going, man, they didn't have to play all those incredible teams down the stretch. Maybe they'd have made it. All right. I feel like I have to knock on wood for this, but we've seen some positive signs from the bullpen. There's still been some shakiness, but hey, it's better than what it was. Drew, do you see them settling down for the postseason? Again, maybe I should knock on some wood. Maybe, the, but I think, I, I think maybe, I think maybe. You know, we like you said, we've seen a lot of positive signs. Scott Oberg has really come around. Son Juan O oh with the. One exception of that hiccup against the Dodgers has been very, very good. Uh, Wade Davis, you're seeing more swings and misses, though he still hasn't had a lot of clean saves lately. A lot more strikeout stuff. I think you still expect Adam Adovino to be what Adam Adovino has been <laughs> for most of the season. And then they're going to have options after that. A lot of young guys that could possibly call up in September. Looks like Chad Bettis is going to make his way into that bullpen to make room for Antonio Senzatella. That could be huge for the bullpen. He's been a really good pitcher for most of the year, was great in his last outing. So, knocking on wood one more time, <laughs> I do think the Rockies' bullpen is going to settle down and actually be a big plus for them in the final month of the season. Well, be sure to catch all of our game coverage on bsnrockies.com. Follow Drew on Twitter, at Drew Creaseman, me, at Ali Monroy 11. Come check out Frosted Leaf's three Denver locations and download their app on both Apple or Android. You can also follow them on Snapchat or Instagram at Frosted Leaf Brand.